I guess I'll say this, and then we're done. Gwen, you need to listen. I am listening, but you have to understand it's never like this. It's never like this. It's never they like what? Us, they, they told us that when you go out there, if you want to say something, you have to interrupt. Okay, you're right. You you're cross. right. They told us that. You're right. It's a show. I'm not trying you're, to be right. No, I'm just... you're right. You're a right fighter. You're a right no. fighter. You're a right I'm not fighter. To be and right. all of you are right. And it is so wrong for this little boy. I'm going to tell you how it is. Oh, hell, you're not even listening. Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm going to tell all of you people because they're having a conversation between them over here while I'm trying to talk to, to them. I, I, can't, I need to take a break. I can't do yeah, it. Yeah, well, I don't take breaks. Um, here's what I'm going to say to all of you at home. Maybe you will listen to it. And, and it is this. There are certain red flags that pop up in custody situations with the court that really give you a strong indication of whether one parent or the other is the best suited to be the custodial parent for a child, okay? Now, what the court always looks for is the hero. They're looking for the peacemaker. They're looking for that person that rises above the fray and says, you know what, I'm going to try to find a way where we can all get together and jointly lift this child up in life. What they run from, what they are afraid of, is the parent that the other person has not one redeeming quality. They're dishonest, they're liars, they're negligent, they're abusive, they're racist, they're this, they're that, it's something always. And that's what the court really looks at and weighs very, very carefully. Now, I've gone through a discussion here with Amy wherein I think she very straightforwardly said, I was not raped. Now, in the middle of that conversation, I was interrupted by both of you. So I, I guess you didn't want to be vindicated, uh, but you got to say what you wanted to say. Uh, so, what I'm telling you is this. The three of you are in danger of being very, very shocked. When you invite the government into your family, you lose control. And so you might think you got all the text messages, you got all the proof, you got all this, you got all that, you got successfully got a protection order. And you can go down there and all your self-righteous, sanctimonious behavior and put it all in front of the court and they say, what the hell's wrong with you?